Did you know that there are drugs that cost over $2 million per dose? Yeah, in 2019, a gene therapy called Solgensma was the first to break that barrier, hitting the market with a price tag of $2.1 million a dose. The drug treats spinal muscular atrophy, a rare and incurable disease that is among the nation's leading genetic causes of infant mortality. At the time, children born with the most severe form of SMA lost their ability to move, swallow, and even breathe, and many babies didn't get to see their second birthdays. Now, babies treated with Solgensma grew up to run and play, and the drug has helped reduce the US death rates from SMA by two-thirds. Solgensma's price quickly became the standard for gene therapies. At least nine others cost more than $2 million per dose, and the most expensive, $4.25 million per dose. Unlike other countries, the United States allows companies to charge whatever they want for new drugs, and this often means that Americans pay the world's highest prices, particularly during the period when only the original manufacturer can market a drug. The costs of Solgensma and other gene therapies add to the nation's ballooning bill for prescription drugs, which is absorbed by all Americans in the form of rising insurance premiums and taxes for public programs like Medicaid. Even with its discounted rate, Medicaid paid out $309 million on just 208 Zolgensma claims in less than four years, an average of almost $1.5 million per claim. ProPublica traced Solgensma's journey from lab to market, from the supporters at the beginning to the hired guns brought in at the end to construct a rationale for its unprecedented price. We found that taxpayers and private charities subsidized much of the science that brought Solgensma to fruition providing research grants and opening the Georgia federal tax credits and other benefits that sped up its path to approval. But that support came with no conditions, financial or otherwise, for the for-profit companies that brought the drug over the finish line, particularly when it came to pricing. So how did a drug rooted, like so many, in seed money from the US government, aka American taxpayers, and aided by the grassroots fundraising of desperate parents, end up with such a high price? Go to ProPublica.org or click on the link in bio to find out.